Hello and welcome to Minor Players, a random game. So let's go. This one is Scandinavia, and same settings before random civilizations. Civilization. So I'm Teutons. Red is Yaztes, Akamak Pictly, and green is the Saracens, Kaboga. So Scandinavia. You've got this huge piece of land inland here and then you've got water all around the outside here and up here as well and you will find ice patches scattered around now whenever I've played this I've always oh yeah sorry this is on hard as well whenever I've played this I've always um, seen the enemy quite close and for example this part over here isn't really inhabited and I don't think it is actually inhabited until quite later on so one of the things I do first, as you can see here, is wall off, wall off as much as I can. And I unfortunately leave this gold out, but this is a huge open patch, so I'd rather leave the gold, gold, gold out. And I tried to get this deer in, but it didn't quite work. And there we go, getting that gate up, and then that's enough wood to cover there. So I've got myself a small base. And I've got plenty of resources, I mean you can see a lovely amount of gold there. And got lots of wood, and I'll have lots of food. So I've got these fishing ships here, getting all this fishing, and down here you have plenty of fishing ships. I mean I've got this, uh, where is it? Here you are. Ah, stop moving away there, oh, how well. Yeah, I've got this fishing ship here, just scouting around, trying to find out where all the fishes are. And that would be a great source of food. Now, with this water here, one thing you can do is, if, let's say, red was down about here, I could create lots of transport ships and put villages on and any uh, military, and then also create lots of military ships and send them all down this water and attack the enemy from water. However, one thing that could be a good idea is to station, you know, a few fire ships here, a few war ga uh, galleons, a few cannon galleons, a few demolition ships, just sc scattered along there, just to help help stop any enemy ships coming in. And I've got the watchtower here. I mean, because this is so because the enemy is so close, and their AI, they don't, they aren't that. They aren't that clever with their walls. I mean, I've, I've got a castle here. I've got a on it, nice, so much damage. I've got a castle here, which will protect this route in. But I've got a castle here, protecting this route in, and this will probably be the one, route that is most attacked. I mean, red is attacking green quite a bit here. And can I, oops. I can't see them actually attacking. I can't see this part here. But, oh, I forgot about that. Oops, so what am I doing? Play. Um, yeah, so red actually managed to get rid of green. You can see all these crossbow moon and eagle warriors and jaggy warriors. So I actually only had one to deal with, which made things a little bit easier for me. But I then scouted around, and this oh, scout cavalry just died. But as I created such a small base here, one thing I had to be careful of was running out, of, uh, running out of resources. I mean, I've got this villager here who is... Oh, yeah, I built the wrong one there. Oh, that's right. So I want this stone here. I mean, I know I've got enough for two castles, but I'd rather have some more coming in just in case. And then I've got a mining camp here because I would have run out of gold as well. So when come these Teutonic Knights, they're just trying to pick up anyone they can. Great against infantry, not so great against archers. And here are my paladins, you know, great paladins that they are. So in terms of attacking, it's, it's just a general attack, there's not really much about the map. I mean, you do have these cliffs um, scattered around, I mean, there's one there, one there, one there, you know, you do get them scattered around, so... If you can, make good use of it, I mean, have like a trebuchet here attacking a castle down here just for that extra hill bonus attack I, I believe you do get that so I'm just make, getting some more resources I mean I'm quite low on gold and I want much more gold 
So I'm just waiting for some more gold before I actually make much more of an attack. So I try to get in through here. Uh, so Barrett's going up. Uh, I mean, I've, I've always found this. There are quite large gold patches around. No, I say large, I mean there's lots of gold patches around us. What I mean to say. So you could make good use of them if you wanted to go across the map and scout around. I mean, for example, you can see I've hardly seen any here. I haven't quite seen into Red Base here and all over here. And I haven't really seen much of the water here, but I'm not really focusing too much on there. I mean, it has now got to a point where these fishing ships have I been mean, quite a lot idle, but a lot are just having to go back so far to this dock. So I could br technically bring up a villager here, create another dock, and all this food will go into this dock here rather than, and it will be much quicker. And I've actually nearly... Uh, what am I getting this about? Uh, I've actually nearly done this, I was quite happy with myself. But there are quite a lot of villagers around. Hmm. There's not really much more to say, it's just generally make sure you don't get attacked by water, you know, have some fishing, uh, fishing ships, you know, galleons, fire ships, demolition ships, cannon galleons scattered here just so transport ships can't get in and land anyone right on your base. Uh, make good use of the whole of the map. I, mean, I, I got all the gold and stone that was up here that someone had left me, and I could technically get all the gold here. And. Yes, I've got spies now, so I'll be very nearly there. Oh, they resigned anyway. And let's see. there are the odd cliff scattered around, so if you can make good use of those. You, there's plenty of wood on this map, you don't really need to worry too much about the wood. But make sure you're walled off. Make sure you have a decent wall, because for example if you're red here, you need to wall all the way around there's just no way you're going to be able to you know, protect yourself just with this uh, just, just with having a wall here I mean what I'm trying to say is maybe have towers around just to help just to help fend off any attackers and to have a look further into where the enemy might be coming from and huh, okay so yeah, I believe that's all I can really say about Scandinavia. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next part.